If you have some treats and fresh gossip from school, the whole world stops turning. Huh? Controlling your actions? Gina has better things to do. Licking someone else's spoon, for example. Ew, Gina, it was my spoon. Why did you have to lick it? It's mine. Um, yours? Well, there, take it. Thanks, girlfriend. Just keep it to yourself. Ew! Now try not to eat the clay because we are making macarons. Spread a thin layer of cream between two pieces. Join all the layers and make a spongy texture on the sides. Looks just like a real macaron. We are making two more French desserts and turning our spoon into a work of art. Oh, hold me tight. This is so tasty and pretty. Perfect for the morning cup of coffee. All right, Gina will also get something pretty. Otherwise, she will be eyeing my spoon even more. Let's start. Now, using the flip side of the spoon, add texture to the clay. A little effort and you have a ripped cup for tasty delights. But what will we put in it? Let's find out. Take two pieces of the yummiest colored clay and roll them into cylinders. Mix the two together. Looks like a unicorn spoon, right? Now place it in the mini plate and voila! The dessert is ready! Decorated with some glitter and beads. If I didn't know it was clay, I would eat this dessert in a blink of an eye. Make a hole for the straw, like that. Beautiful! No one will have spoons like ours. They call me Miss Originality for a reason. Gina, look what I have. Aren't they precious? Want one? Of course! Uh, what? A spoon? Wow, they look so real! Thanks, Chris! Great idea! Now we will never confuse them again. Do you also get ready in five minutes and then spend an hour looking for your ring around the house? You could film another part of Lord of the Rings. There you are! I am late for my date because of you. Go to your ring, friends. I'm going out with... Oh no! A polymer clay cake with borders which we adjusted with our fingers quickly turns into a stand. Take green balls and roll them into tubes. Then join them together. Does it ring a bell? We get a real cactus. It comes out of a polymer desert where sand is replaced by clay. Carefully set it up on the plate. Now we add some texture and of course, we can't have a cactus without spines. Stop! What is it even for, you will ask? Here's what it's for. For the rings to be under the supervision of Mr. Cactus. Okay, now let's try to solve this clay riddle. There are three pieces of clay. We make them three red caps. Join them together. Looks familiar? It's a mushroom! That's right! All we need is some white dots, just like the ones from the forest. Ta-da! These guys will help you sort out your jewelry. Gosh, they are so bright! This is the handiest polymer clay creation ever! Now all of my rings are in one place! Hey Gina, I have something for you. Voila! Wow, how does it work? Oh, I would never have thought of that. All right, it's finally time to get our hands on this creative task. What do you mean? What? Where is my USB? Oh Gina, this is so you. Maybe here? Oh, a cookie. Not a bad find. No, wait, where did it go? Backpack? Did you hide it? Shoot, it always gets lost. Maybe it's under the armchair. Oh, oh! Where am I? What am I? A button on my forehead? 
now! Oh, here you are. Found a good resting spot. We already know how to make a ball out of polymer clay. Now stick our little USB into it. One, two, three. Oval. Add round eyes. And put some glasses on. Easy technique if you have used Play-Doh previously. Smile! Do you recognize it? Not yet? Then it's time to put on our special Minion overalls. Like that. The Minion is ready and it will help our USB never to get lost again. It looks super fun and vibrant. Where? Here! Found it right away. It's fantastic that I don't have to spend hours looking for my little baby anymore. This magnificent USB won't get lost again. Thanks for your help! What's this beauty over here? Wow! Gina, did you make it? This is my favorite Minion Bob! I want one too! A heartwarming cup of tea, sweet goodies and a TV show. What can be better? Come on, tea. Are you ready yet? Ouch! Hot! Be careful, Chris. We are rooting for you, but currently you are losing 3-0 to a tea bag. Sounds like Gina came to see this battle. Chris, I think your opponent just hit my head and attacked my cookie. Gina, you're a genius. Just you wait, teabag. Wait, this was my cookie. Take some brown clay and turn it into an oval. At the bottom of the oval, make a small cut and another one, getting rid of the rest. What does it look like? Legs. And here's the head. Now let's add long arms with wide ends. Now adding some eyes, brows and a stylish outfit. Recognize him? Of course. And here is how it works. Chris, you're a genius! Now the tea bags are under Mr. Cookie's supervision. Well, the one from Shrek, remember? Mmm, that's even tastier. Even your favorite TV show without goodies by your side loses meaning. Thankfully, Chris and Gina stirred up on some donuts before starting their show. The situation becomes more oh. heated when they're left with the last one. Awkward. Ow! It's mine! No mine! I was looking at it! Oh look! Billie Eilish! Where? Ha 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 ha! Chris, who taught you this trick? It doesn't look like a fair win. Gina got very upset. The donut is of course delicious, but what does it matter when your friend is crying? This has to be fixed. Don't cry, girlfriend. Give me a minute. This video is by far the sweetest. A new donut. Make a hole in the circle and soften out the edges. To make glaze, mix pink and white clay. Roll it out using a pasta roller or a rolling pin. Cut out the glaze and decorate our little cutie with it. You can make any design you like. We will have lemon cream. Just kidding, it's only yellow clay. Last touch, golden beads. It will look adorable, don't you think? Now cut it in half and go give it to your best friend as a present. Just make sure she doesn't eat it by accident. Not all attempts at making up are successful, but Chris really tried. Come on, Gina, don't be mad at Chris. Even the tastiest of donuts can be split in half. And this wonderful charm will be a reminder of that. Makeup emergencies can happen at any moment, and it can leave us with serious makeup chaos. Seems like my brushes agree to start a war with me. I had enough of you. Ah, uh, just get over here! Wait. 
That's an idea. Take many, many, many bright colors of clay. Time for anti-stress. Rip the clay into tiny pieces like that. Now form a colorful ball out of it. Looks like the planet of my dreams. Now make space for all of our hectic brushes. Done! Let's make our masterpiece edgy, so that the stand looks stylish and modern. Well, isn't it genius? All the brushes are in one place and they are waiting for you to use them. There it is! Gina made a fantastic makeup look without damaging her nerve cells. Let's just appreciate how tidy her table is. And our brush stand is not only super useful, but also looks incredibly cool. Gina, you are right. This creation definitely deserves a like. Did you like the video? Let us know in the comments below which creation would you like to repeat. Like, subscribe, hit the bell button, and see you soon.